2005 is we're flying more of a close air support mission in that kinetic role. Now in 2007, we're flying more of a visual reconnaissance for that presence role. Additionally, in 2005, our efforts were focused on the population centers and the cities. Now we're looking at more of the outskirts and the desert. The reason for these two major changes have been some burrowing operations as well as these, as well as our U.S. training teams taking a much larger role in the populace in the populated areas and therefore we're now looking for the insurgents out in the desert. Over the last three years, 269 has been deployed in the Allied Bar province 21 of the last 36 months on a seven month deployment, five month at home rotation. But there's some positive and some negatives with that. Uh, some of the positive have been the Marines have had an opportunity to execute the mission that they were trained to do, they signed up in the Marine Corps to do. Also our familiarity with this rotation, we're very familiar with the uh, AO, we've been able to execute very efficiently over the last couple of years. Some of the negatives, however, have been the five months at home. Our training time back at home is very limited. We find ourselves taking post-deployment leave at the same time, conducting pre-deployment training, and they stress on the families. Uh, year after year, we're only being home for five months. It's become a little harder each time to get in that normal routine back in the United States. This year, however, we do have 10 months at home by spot through the activation of reserve squad in the 773 out of New Orleans and Atlanta. With all this, uh, Mr. President, most of the Marines are maintaining their reenlistments, staying in the Marine Corps. However, some of them are using the reenlistment option to go to non deployment commands in order to get a break from our current cycle. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you